everybody, welcome back. Today I'm going to share uh, my latest design team project for Calico Collage. Um, this kit is called Songbird. And um, yeah, I've really enjoyed working with this. Um, beautiful images and totally uh, me. I love the, um, the birds, the roses. It's just beautiful. Beautiful kit. Um, this one's a bit different for me. Um, first time I've tried the technique of printing on fabric, so that was so much fun to do. I'm go I'm really looking forward to doing more of these because the feel of it is just amazing. I won't be doing a tutorial on how to do this because there's numerous uh, ladies on YouTube already, and um, there's nothing I could add to the tutorials that are on there. So if you're interested in in learning how to do it, just just do a search for uh, how to print on fabric, and you'll have loads of ladies to choose from. Love this. Um, so there's the uh, front. Um, I've put some trim along the edge just to try to finish it out a bit. Um, the spine. I've put this in with a five-hole pamphlet stitch, and then this is the back of the journal. I just cannot tell you how much I love this journal. Um, I printed it and then I went over um, and stitched it onto some cotton material. So that's what you're seeing along the edge there. So it's it's got a lot of stitching on it. Um, and I just personally don't think that the, the front needed anything else. I, I like it the way it is. Um, the closure is some sorry silk. I recently purchased this. I love it. It's a kind of a a variegated it's just beautiful and it went perfectly with this so um, yeah I'm looking forward to making some more of these um, inside what I've done is I've taken I had some uh, doilies uh, fabric doilies and I've stitched those in as little pockets in the front and the back so um, let's see everything um, that you see in here is part of the songbird kit except I've used some scrapbook papers from my um, stash because I'm trying to, as you guys know, I'm trying to get through old papers and um, you know I was I tried to coordinate this nicely. So here um, this is one of the tags that you'll get in the kit. Beautiful. And I love that little calendar down there. Um, I've just done a little mini Rolodex card. That's a double-sided paper. Here I've done some stitching along the edge. Uh, here I've made a little flip out with another pocket. Did some stamping throughout the journal. Um, this is the cotton paper. I stamped on that so that's in there. And then this little just a note card. Um, love these papers. Here is Eth Holden, and I've done a, a, some fabric. This is some more of this cotton paper. It is incredible. So if you're into um, mixed media or art journaling, this is totally going to support that because it's, uh, I think, about 300 GSM. I don't know what that comes out into in pounds in the U.S. If, if you need to know, you just have to convert it. Um, this is one of the cutouts from the kit. Love that. And here is just a little fabric um, trim pocket I've stitched in. I've done some of the um, hand torn pages, <coughs> script stamped on the pages here, um, so you know, to add some more um, dimension to it. And then there's various book pages. Some are vintage, some are just, you know, anything that went along with the theme. Sorry about that. Okay, so here I've just created a little pocket here. I've got some eyelash trim with some seam binding. Um, another little tag. And here is another of the pages. I've done stitching around that. Here I created a, uh, this is a coin envelope. I've done a flip out. And then um, with one of the pages, I printed it out onto heavy cardstock and created a car, uh, tag. Isn't that a beautiful image? Love that. Yeah. 
here I've done a um, book page pocket and added one of the sayings from the kit. There's some um, doily cheesecloth and then these little tags that I've stamped out. Um, this is one of the pockets from the kit and then I've done this little handmade journaling card and this is from the kit and then I've included one of the little vintage playing cards. These are true vintage playing cards. I love that size. I, I just think they're adorable. Here's another little pocket, a uh, double pocket actually. I just haven't got anything in that one. And then I've included this um, vintage, 1926 vintage postcard and it's stamped Paris and then the front of it is Luxembourg. So that's in there. Another of the pages from the kit, um, another of the torn pages with the stamping. Here's just a little CD, altered CD case that I've added that. That's from the kit. So that's a little journaling tag inside there. And then on the back I've got this little tuck spot with a couple of things in here. Here I've included a little um, vintage style envelope. This is a little playing card and a couple of little cut out and stamped tags. Now this is, I've just put that there on the, um, this is vintage music sheet, um, just so you'd have an extra bit of journaling space there. So. So that's how that goes. And then this is just a big pocket that I've included. And you'll see it's a double on the other side of the signature. It opens up. There's nothing in it, but you've, you know, a place for you to add some things. This is um, some little collaging with a button. This is one of the little envelope and cards that comes with the kit. Beautiful. So I tucked that in there and put that in one of the um, glassine bags. That's, uh... Some ledger paper. This is more of the Edith Hold uh, This is actually the Edith Holden cookbook. Um, there's a page of that in there. Uh, this is a little altered tea bag. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you've seen this. This is a double pocket. You can put something behind, but then inside the tea bag, I've got this little um, tag that I created. And there's some collaging you can see. And then I've put the little cut out of the butterfly there. And this is the center of the signature. Um, this time I've just added a couple of little pearls that are just hanging off just below the journal. And this page, this is another of the pockets. I've just made a double pocket with some uh, scrapbook paper. And then I've added this little postcard that I, I've stamped and cut that out. And then this is uh, just a little vintage image of it, came, it was in one of the packs I bought of some vintage um, postcards, but um, I'm not too sure, but it, it's old. I know that. Um, this is the Edith Holden cookbook with some more uh, fabric stitched to it. This is another of the journaling cards. Beautiful images. I've really enjoyed this kit. It's it's got some beautiful, beautiful colors in it. Um, stitched around this page. Um, this is the other side of that vintage um, sheet music uh, pocket that I've made. And this is all, you can tuck some things in there. And then I've come over it with another, um, and made another little pocket out of other, um, I don't know, this is about three sheets of old 
book page that I doubled up and then I've attached a little metal embellishment there and this image was from the kit so I thought that was really pretty um, and then you can see the collaging with the button this is the back of it I made another little pocket did a um, another tag with some stitching some um, doily script stamp and then these were images from the kit that I, I cut out and that's another little tag. Here I've made a belly band with uh, one of the pieces from the kit and then just added the journaling card and then I stamped that as a little journaling card as well. Here I've stitched on uh, one of the sayings from the Edith Holden page and then this is a big tuck spot and a side pocket with another of the little mini Rolodex cards tucked away there. It's another um, doily and this is a handmade cotton envelope and uh, what I've done, because they're quite large, I've cut this down, done some stitching so that it's just a small pocket. So you've got more place in there and that's been attached to a um, a gardening page. I love the images on this. I thought this was really pretty. Here I've done a little altered paper click with the banners that come in the kit. And then I did a f another floating pocket. This is with um, you know the junk mail that you get. Um, I coffee, or, sorry, tea dyed it. Then I came over, stitched it so that you've got a pocket here. But then inside you've got this that shows through. Isn't that beautiful? Really pleased. That's got some um, doily behind it. I've stitched over it. So that tucks in there. And this is one of the um, little cutouts from the kit. So I thought that went really, really nice. I love that. Really have enjoyed uh, this journal. I'm, I'm, hmm, I'm going to be sad to, to part with this one. This is probably one of my favorite journals, this uh, and uh, one of the, the beekeeper journal I did a while back. Uh, those have been the two my two favorite journals of all time. <laughs> this is another little um, envelope I had in my stash. Um, and then a journaling card. And this is one of the images. I've just put that on there. More writing space, um, some more of this cotton paper. Um, here I've got the journaling card, um, this little pocket I made from uh, I'll just show you guys. You know, when you buy these um, doily packs, you often get the really big. rectangle doilies and they are really the journal sizes I work in well if you had a big journal that would fit in no problem but most of my journals as you guys know are pretty small so what I did is I just folded this up multiple times I cut it down then folded it up multiple, multiple times and then I got this little pocket it's very, very sturdy, and I love, it looks like it's been embossed. So that's how I got that. Um, and then I've got the little journaling card, and then I've got a little glassine baggie, and I've just added some extra tiny tags. I've got a lot of tiny tag dies in my collection, so I tucked those in for whoever gets this journal, they can uh, make use of those. Um, more of the Edith Holden paper with some more trim. And this is the last page, stitched all around that. And then this is the back of the journal. Again, the um, doily pocket. This is all fabric. This is an old index card, you can tell from the the color of that, that's not been coffee or tea dyed, that's just a natural aging. 
And then this is one of the journaling cards from the kit that I've stitched around it and lightly stamped on the back. And then just included another of those little playing cards. So there it is. And that's the back of the journal. Oh, I love how this has come out. And honestly, guys, it feels amazing. <laughs> um, this is, I probably, I don't know if I told the size. This is a, um, well, pretty much a six by eight and a half. Probably five and three quarters by eight and a half. Um, one signature. And uh, that's it. So thank you guys so much for stopping by. I hope you've enjoyed it. And I hope everybody's having a great uh, Thanksgiving weekend. And I'll be back very soon with more journals. Take care. Bye.